artwork. So, some way, so, a lot, just main way is a normal, just frame. This isn't my artwork. I didn't make some of that. Um, but, I'm like a kid and I can't buy frames. I don't have enough money to buy frames. Or get any. <laughs> and like, I don't want to go to places to get them. So, how I've done it is, what I've done is, I've like, yeah, it's a joke, the banana part, but I've done just this, it looks kind of like a frame, but it's really, uh, what do you call it, just cut out artwork on like a card thing with an opening. And you can buy those on there. And that's a cardboard box. This is just a normal cardboard box that I've attached to the wall. This is like clear thing on top. That's just paper. This is paper. And that's the artwork. So that's there. So that's one way. Um, I've heard of some of these kind of frames where they have these edges. You could try making those out of like paper or cardboard and if I ever want like a glossy finish over something like a glossy like plastic frame kind of thing I stretch out saran wrap to the point where it doesn't have any wrinkles or or anything like that so that's just some, that's just one thing sometimes I think like good to rip it out, out of it and like have no frame but so yeah that's about how to a good way so another thing you can do is with how to make canvases is you can get some paper and you can wrap it around your size of like cut cardboard and I've done it with like circles and stuff and you can just do like a bunch of folds over until it looks like a circle and I've done like pretty cool shapes so there there is a way to make a canvas and you just would tape it on the back and I would you I would advise painters tape that works really well with paper so that you can store uh, like long things and jars upright so you don't bend them on this tiny one uh if you put it in like a washing jar for too long they will bend because just the weight of their brush and those will stay bent so there is just one or you can also with brushes you can like out straight this is a huge brush I got for my birthday I have like a book but I would love like to use it yeah other little tech mm -hmm. like pencils and stuff uh, I would do Prismacolor if you want something glossy because they're very waxy and if you don't want anything like that you can Faber Castell is really good for dry, but they are not that pigmented. Scripps crayons are kind of like Prisma colors, if you think about it. Um, uh, also, uh, I I think these mini art sets are really cute, but I've noticed that there I haven't really found a good mini art set that are actually like useful to use like good quality but that's a little middle tint so I actually don't like that one but they're not so yay paper I advise using XL paper um this is some mixed media some small stuff I don't have much left 
as you can see, but XL is great. But any really brand you can use is good. But I mean, not good. <laughs> A lot of what people call some paper, like this paper, people call it glorified printer paper. It's as thin as printer paper, but it's just like. Okay, I can easily bend the entire palette. Like, it's not hard to bend it. Like, it's just not good. I do not advise, like, that much of a, like, paper is not a good thing to buy. Just non, like, generic. But, I mean, some of them do have brands, like, this, but, like, eh. Your images, that's a pretty generic sounding name. This is even thinner, it's just, that doesn't make, like, when the covers are bad, you can kind of estimate that the rest of the paper is bad. Except with, like, I found some thin paper, well, some thin kind of covers that have good paper is just Strathmore. It's a good brand. It's not the best, but... I would use Excel if you have it. It's not that cheap, but you can find it on Amazon and many places, especially if you're in the time that I am right in right now and you're in quarantine and some places can't you can't go outside to buy stuff. So little tip. Some more Excel. Um this is Bristol recycled, like large. I really like it. It's really thick. And this, I forgot what it's for, but I actually can't find out what it's for, but Carson Bristol Recycled XL thingy, that big brand thing, they all have XL on it, but at least I think, but that's a good brand. It's useful to have, like, fun paper, like, we did some, like, marbling, Uber stuff. So that was really fun. So, and then here's some just thin origami. But it's good to have some, like, background, like, framing paper. Like, you have, like, I could have done, like, some Ebrew stuff around here. That back of gold could have been, like, something else. But, yeah, it's good to have some just paper that's, like, fun and patterned. Good watercolor. Is expensive. This is just Crayola. I don't know why that paint is in there. These paints, like package paints like this. Many things on here. Other things like this aren't that good. Huh. Blackness. <laughs> so, like, like, just try to stay away from these. That, like, just Crayola and just cheap, cheap watercolors. They're really hard to get really pigmented, so yeah. It's nice to have a folder to store your artwork. I don't really like that folder like section thing, but you can have certain like sections. I like to keep mine in order from dates, but it's nice, really nice to have a folder of your artwork. Free to try something new. Like I painted a box, didn't turn that great because I did cringy flowers, but it's cute. So be free. Number ten. I promise you, photography is a 